kitchen and we're talking cookware, but not just any cookware. This is cast iron. It's vintage restored cast iron cookware, courtesy of our friend once upon a time and again soon to be known as the digger dude, Lance Lovell. I wear Lovell. many hats. He wears many hats or none in this case. Now he is the Jack's Pan Man. Jack's Pan Man. <laughs> so tell us about this project of yours. It's really interesting. Yeah, last summer uh, I have my grandmother's uh, cast iron skillet and I've had a lot of fond memories of chicken and dumplings in that and I wanted to clean it up so I did a lot of research on how to restore and clean up cast iron and I really got into the hobby. So I started posting pictures and I got a lot of feedback from friends and I started to get a little bit of national attention with it. So I decided to open my own uh, restoration business. And what we're looking at here are some vintage pieces of cast iron, uh, many different varieties. We got a waffle maker and from different foundries and different logos that the foundries used over time. So you found too that there was quite a lot of demand too. People would reach out to you and say, I have something that needs restoring, right? Absolutely, and a lot of that goes back to think about it. Uh, you sit down at Christmas, your grandmother made her favorite dish and her favorite container that they uh, that she had. It brings back a lot of memories, and all I do is I take that and I kind of bring it back to its original glory. So all of these pans, um, even dirty pans, you would think that they would be in bad condition, but that uh, stuff that's caked on them, that actually protects the surface pretty well. All I'm doing is removing that and putting it on fresh, clean, even layers. So you bring back the quality and see some of the logos and the castware uh, that you have. And I'm noticing a few of them that uh, are not obviously cookware, like this right here. What is, what is this piece that I'm seeing right here? I'm actually really excited about that piece, and I was really privileged to work on it. This was, uh, it's a water meter uh, cover that was made by the Dixon Foundry in Americus, Georgia. The grandson of the owner of the foundry, the foundry's long since closed, but he had these water meter boxes that were outside of his grandfather's foundry. And he asked if I could restore them, so I brought them back and restored them. I brought them back kind of to their original glory. I think it cleaned up great and it's, uh, I'm really proud of that piece. It really did. I mean, I don't even know if I've seen some cast iron pans that have looked this good after a week. You know, I mean, I've had them a week and they don't even look this good. This yeah, waffle no, iron is cool. It goes, what, right on the burner? Oh, absolutely. And what's really cool about this is the patent date is actually my birthday. So I call this ah. my birthday waffle maker. Yes, it's wa It's my birthday and we're making waffles. Yes. So, so Griswold, is that, a, that must be a popular one. Griswold was one of the high-end makers, one of the original uh, foundries in the United States. And yes, their pieces are very collectible and they're sought after pieces. Um, as you can see here, we have a couple of different logos uh, from those times. Uh, this right here is what they call the large block logo, and that was predominantly made during the 30s. Uh, then they started to transition into a small block logo. You can, it's the same one. You can just see that it's much smaller. Uh, this one actually has a groove in the handle, so this dates this to uh, the mid to late 50s. Uh, these pans here, you can see that they have an outside heat ring on them. These were probably made uh, from the 20s to the 40s, uh, all different brands. And what I really like about it, you can pick your favorite brand and kind of collect their logos. Like this one here, this is a uh, favorite peak wall wear, but this is, see how it has a smiley in it? Mm -hmm. These are called the smiley logos. What is the most expensive piece of cookware you've seen or come across, or maybe even just only heard about? Well, Griswold is one of those uh, ones that are really sought after. and. There are a few pieces that were made around the turn of the century, like the number 11. I saw a lid recently go for almost uh, a little over $5,000. Okay. So some of this stuff, depending, it, it's, it's the rarer pieces, they can go for high dollars. So, Well, it's really, really interesting, and it's certainly something we want to explore further with you. I think the next time we meet, we're going to actually cook something up in these, yeah, these pans absolutely. because they, they cook really well the way the heat is dispersed. Yeah, absolutely. And there's a lot that goes into selecting the right kind of cast iron. So if you're using like a glass top uh, surface, you want to use a smooth bottom. That way you have metal contact all the way around your surface. These outside heat rings, these are more for like gas ranges. That way that flame comes up and it hits your surface. If you're only heating the outside ring, you're not getting even heat flow throughout uh, your pan. So it, depending on what type of stove you have, like a glass top, you want to use a smooth bottom. If you have a gas range, you want to use these. Now you can use cast iron on induction. I don't know a lot about that. What I would say is do some research on it because you don't want to uh, scratch a very expensive surface uh, on, on your stove. Well, it's, it, it is really interesting. And what I'm learning is you just don't know what you don't know. I had no idea the history behind all of this. And we're looking forward to more opportunities with you, Lance, to learn about it. Oh, and, and when this hat is 
When you're not the digger dude, you are the Jacksonville pan man? I'm the Jacks pan man. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, and if anybody, you need restoration work, I'm on Facebook. Feel free to reach out at uh, facebook.com uh, forward slash Jacks pan man. I do offer restoration services, and I'd love to help you out and bring back uh, some memories to some pieces that you've cherished.